this this is in fact manufactured partly by a press that's bored and partly uh, by the Republicans. Here's the deal. She did not break any rules. She did not break any policy. She may have sent stuff that was classified that wasn't labeled classified. And it is well known that the State Department and others are trying to get stuff classified after the fact. She can't be blamed for this. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, folks. Uh, joining us now is Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch, author of the New York Times bestseller, The Corruption Chronicles, and executive producer of the uh, documentary District of Corruption. Hey, Tom. Hey, Steve, good to be with you again. Uh, what? Thank you. You too. What, what, what alter universe is Howard Dean living in? She did nothing wrong. Well, Howard Dean doesn't really know what he's talking about. I, I don't know why these guys go on TV uh, saying things that are demonstrably untrue. Uh, Mrs. Clinton sent an email out to all of her employees reminding them of the policy to use government email accounts for government business. And certainly... That's what she should have been. Uh, that's what should have been done. If everything was on the up and up, the Justice Department and the FBI would not be in the possession of Mrs. Clinton's uh, server or what supposedly is her server. We don't know what they have. Uh, so folks like Howard Dean can be reliably ignored, and uh, groups like Judicial Watch, which are in court just trying to get records, um, are, are where it's at in the sense that the federal judges are leading inquiries here into where these records are and uh, what can be done to make sure the public has access to records they have a right to under both the Freedom of Information Act and the Federal Records Act. And, and Chris Farrell, a director of investigations at uh, your wonderful organization, Judicial Watch, uh, believes yeah. that uh, not only Hillary Clinton, uh, but uh, Uma Abedin and Cheryl Mills uh, have, uh, have violated uh, two national security laws by sending classified information on a private server. Well, sure, just even maintaining the classified information on an unsecure system uh, raises questions about criminal liability, for certainly for Mrs. Clinton. We don't know what other agency employees had uh, email accounts on her system. Mrs. Clinton confirmed that Yuma Abedin had an email account on her system, and that's all we know for sure. But we don't know, if, of course, Mrs. Clinton isn't telling. The State Department refuses to divulge information. And so the administration's in cover-up mode, unfortunately, and uh, this is why it's important that judges uh, uh, take the steps necessary, and we're asking them to. Certainly, Judge Sullivan has pushed the government to take steps to figure out where these documents are, what can be done to retrieve them. Right, and Judge Sullivan, if I, and correct me if I'm wrong, has also instructed uh, the aforementioned uh, Uma Abedin and Cheryl Mills uh, and Hillary Clinton, who apparently has complied, although it's in, in Clinton speak from what uh, you told me or someone else told me. Uh, but, but the other two, Aberdeen and Mills, have not yet complied with his order uh, that under penalty of perjury they have to swear that they've handed everything over. Is that correct? Right. The judge uh, directed the State Department to get those certifications from Ms. Aberdeen, Ms. Mills, and Mrs. Clinton. Mrs. Uh, Clinton's certification under penalty of perjury is woefully inadequate and uh, leaves out information. Mills and Aberdeen haven't turned over all the records, so they evidently aren't going to certify that under penalty of perjury. So we don't know when, ever, when if ever, any time, when, if ever, we're going to get all the records that they have. Well, Tom, I appreciate it, as always. And we don't do this often enough. People want to, uh, want to help uh, support uh, Judicial Watch and the work they do. Just uh, what, what, what do they do? Well, they go to our website at judicialwatch.org, judicialwatch.org. You go there to support us, but in the least, go there to figure out what the government is doing that it doesn't want you to know about, yep. especially on the Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Clinton's email scandal. All right. Always great talking to you, sir. Thank you. Coming up, give me five, and we'll have uh, more with Ben Carson and what he went through on CNN, something we talked about uh, with Ben on uh, our interview yesterday. But first, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, my colleague Ed Berliner. He's host of The Hardline on Newsmax TV, and he'll be airing a portion of his interview with Texas Senator and Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz. Uh, he had a, a great uh, part to that interview on his show yesterday. And, uh, of course, as I said, 9 p.m. Eastern, that show does air. And uh, one of the things that uh, Ted Cruz will be talking about is what Hillary today criticized Jeb Bush on, and that's Planned Parenthood. And here, Ted Cruz explains exactly what he will do with Planned Parenthood on his very first day in the Oval Office. On my first day in office as president, I will instruct the United States Department of Justice to open an investigation into Planned Parenthood and to prosecute any and all criminal violations by that organization. It is a federal crime. It is a felony. 
to sell the body parts of unborn children, carries a 10-year prison sentence. Mm -hmm. And yet, what a sad statement about our government today that nobody, nobody in the media, nobody in the political world thinks there's any chance whatsoever, zero chance, that the Obama Justice Department would even investigate Planned Parenthood because they're a political ally of the president. It doesn't matter that they're caught on tape admitting to multiple felonies. The administration of justice should be blind to party and ideology. It should follow the laws and the Constitution. And one of the things I intend to do as president is bring back integrity to the U.S. Department of Justice.